Welcome to Cook Me Curbs Coding Class. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a browser extension. So, first thing you have to do, wait no, a browser extension that will run on most browsers. I'm going to show you how to test it on Chrome and Firefox if you want to do it on some other browser, look it up because I don't have any other browser that supports extensions on my computer and I don't want to download one. Okay, now we're going to get started. So, open up a file manager and create a new folder. So, uh, create new folder. There it is. And I'm going to call it Hello World. How do you spell hello wrong? Who cares? EX. Right there. And I'm going to drag a few things onto there. I'm going to drag this icon right here. It's a wheelchair person. Um, I'm going to drag... Where's the other thing I was going to drag? Oh, there it is. Hello world.gif into there. So we're going to need two files. You don't have to use the same two images. You just need two images. Okay. Now, you make a new file. Call it manifest dot json json this file is going to tell the browser what to do with all the other files and what the extension is like what it's called in the description now make a new file and call it pop up dot html this is what's going to pop up when you click on the extension i know some extensions don't have a pop up but simple hello world extensions this one's going to. Okay, open up manifest.json. Get ready to type. This is going to be a long thing. So first, open a curly bracket. Enter and tabulate. Next, put inside of quotes, name. This will tell the browser what the extension is called. So you put a colon, and I'm going to call it, hello, wait, no, hello world. That's what the extension is going to be called. You put a comma at the end of these quotes and tabulate. You're going to put description inside of quotes, another colon, and write up a simple description. Um, this is a hello world extension like that you can put whatever you want in there another comma because there's more to go tabulate version and even though it's a number you still have to put it inside quotes and you can only include numbers I have no idea why they do it that way but they do so 1.0 comma Again, tabulate, inside of quotes, manifest, underscore, version, colon, two. I don't know, oh no, you, put, you don't put the two in quotes. I don't know why the browser needs this. I don't even know what it does, but the extensions never work if you don't have it. So just keep it there. Now this next one is to tell it what the icon for the extension is and what the pop-up for it is. So browser underscore action colon and there are multiple things in here so we're going to open another curly bracket and tabulate twice this time default underscore pop up did I spell that right? yes I did oh wait no icon first gotta remember that default icon is icon dot png mine is called that if you have an icon in there that's not titled icon.png 
you can change the name there, or you can change the name in the manifest file. Mine is called icon.png. You have to make sure, however, that it is a square ping file. Otherwise, it, it won't work right. Now, next is tabulate twice default pop up. And the one that's the file we just made before this one, or actually after this one, is pop up dot html and then you don't add a comma because there's nothing more inside of this curly bracket so tabulate once close this curly bracket tab don't tabulate and the next return close that curly bracket up at the top perfect that's the manifest file save it and close it next we're going to open popup.html I'm going to use my text editor and I'm going to type inside of it image for image tag, you know. Surak equals hello underscore world dot gif. I spelled world wrong when I downloaded the image. Don't worry about it. And splash. Perfect. That's saved. And that's it. Now, I'm going to show you how to load it onto Chrome, and then I'm going to show you how to load it onto Firefox. So, we'll just X out of our file manager and open up Chrome. My computer's really slow, so I'm just going to have to wait. And keep waiting. Well, while Chrome opens, I'll tell you about... Oh, never mind, it opened. Man, that, that that's, it usually takes longer. I should have opened Chrome before I started recording, but that might slow things. Anyway, um, we're going to open the extensions page. I have it bookmarked. Now, I have a rather old version of Chrome because my computer is a Raspberry Pi, so it doesn't update software very often. Your Chrome probably looks different from mine, but there will be somewhere a check, a check box that says developer mode. Make sure that's checked. And somewhere there will be these three buttons. Load and packed extension, pack extension, update extensions now. We're going to ignore this one and this one because we don't need it. Okay, so load and packed extension button. And then we are going to click on that folder we just made. Open. And we're going to wait a second and there it is. Hello world in our list of extensions. And now I'm going to move it over here so you can see it. My icon didn't work. But the pop-up does. I should, um, I think my icon wasn't actually a square ping, which is why it didn't work. It wasn't square. It looked square, but it wasn't. That's not important. The, the point is, Chrome didn't recognize my icon because it wasn't square. So you got to make sure your icon is square. Otherwise, Chrome won't recognize it. I'm not sure what Firefox does, but Chrome does not recognize it. This is the pop-up, this little window thing that pops out you know yeah that's how you do it in Chrome now I'm going to show you how to do it in Firefox let me X out of Chrome here and put Firefox in full screen go to about colon debugging this is how to load a temporary add-on to do other stuff you do other stuff okay you have to make sure this enable add-on debugging box right here is checked. Next, you click load temporary add-on. Then you find the folder right here and you open the folder. You have to open it. And then click on manifest.json. You don't have to do manifest.json, but sometimes it doesn't work right if we choose a different file inside of here. The point is choose one of the files inside of the folder doesn't matter which. Press open. Now wait a bit. Oh look, there it is. Hello world. And guess what? Firefox didn't recognize my icon either because it wasn't square. So they just used a little default icon there. So 
Normally extensions, they appear right up here, but my screen is really small, so it's going to be under more tools. And there it is, Hello World. I click on it, and it opens the enormous window, just like it did in Chrome. Now, I've got to tell you some stuff, some differences between Firefox add-ons and Chrome and Chrome extensions. So, um, Firefox add-ons, they do not allow inline scripts. For those of you who don't know what inline scripts are, it's when there's a script tag and then JavaScript inside of it, rather than a script tag linking to a JavaScript file somewhere else. Um, Chrome does allow it if you sandbox the page on which this inline script is. However, when you sandbox it, it takes away some of its permissions. I don't know if the latest version of Firefox allows for sandboxing, but this one doesn't, and I don't think they do. So, when making Firefox and Chrome extensions, keep in mind that you can't sandbox on Firefox. And yeah, that's it. That's how you make a simple Hello World extension. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, don't bother opening a new Google account and liking and subscribing from there. It's a waste of your time. Unless, of course, you need another Google account for other stuff, in which case, feel free to do that. Uh, yeah, you should also check out KidZ. He'll appear, like, somewhere over here on the screen. Um, uh, he's a vlogger. He's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye!